Hi, Havana Mahoney with Powerbox here. Thanks for tuning into the fourth and final video in the series, how to program the Powerbox and Flipbox. In parts one through three, we installed a Powerbox DPC 15000, some Powerbox HD 1000 ballast, and an LSM 20 Flipbox. In this video, we're going to review the program settings for the timers on the Powerbox and the Flipbox so that all the components function flawlessly together. But before we do this, it is very important to understand a few critical concepts about a flip box. As you know, the purpose of a flip box is to switch the ballast output between two sets of lights in two different rooms. When a flip box switches between rooms, the ballast must turn off first. You do not want the flip to happen while the ballasts are on. Powering the ballast off before the flip will prevent damage to any system components, and it will also ensure that all of the lamps in each room will ignite properly. This is where the power box comes in. The power box will be programmed to turn the ballast off five minutes before the flip time and then back on five minutes after the flip time. As you can see, we have connected 10 lamps to side A of the flip box and 10 lamps to side B of the flip box to represent our two flowering rooms. There are two rows of receptacles across the top of the flip box where the lamps plug in. The first row closest to the front is for room A lamps. The second row at the back is for room B lamps. Just as with the flip box cords going into the ballast, you will want to make sure that the lamp cords are firmly and completely seated into the receptacles on the flip box. This is very important. There is a lot of current flowing through these cords and the connections must be tight to avoid any problems. We are going to program our timers based on flip times of 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. This means that room A will run from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. and room B will run from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. To program the power box, we will use two program slots in the timer. Here's what that program looks like. P1, seven days on 7.05 a.m. P1, seven days off 6.55 p.m. P2, seven days on 7.05 p.m. P2, seven days, off, 6.55 a.m. And then we set the timer to auto on. These programs allow the ballast to continually run, except for a 10 minute off window twice per day, during which time the flip box changes over sides. To program the flip box, we will use just one program slot, and it will look like this. P1, seven days, on, 7 p.m. P1, seven days, off, 7 a.m. When the flip box program turns on at 7 p.m., it changes over to room B. When the flip box program turns off at 7 a.m., it reverts back to room A. If you follow all of these steps precisely, you will have a system that functions perfectly with no hiccups. For full details on programming the timers, refer to the instructions that come with the unit or you can also download them from our website. Now let's take a look at how it all really works. We have our timer set, and we're going to turn everything on by switching on the power box breaker. As you can see, the room A lights are starting to come on. Now through the magic of time lapse, we allow the system to switch rooms in fast motion without having to sit here and watch all day. This will allow us to see how the changeover process occurs. Think about what you could do with a system like this. That brings us to the conclusion of this four-part series. We hope you have found it informative. We know you have a lot of choices when it comes to equipment. By choosing Powerbox, you get the peace of mind of knowing that you have the highest quality gear designed and manufactured by experts that will keep your operations running safely for years to come. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon from Powerbox. And don't forget to like us on Facebook at Powerbox USA. I'm Havana Mahoney with Powerbox, and thank you so much for watching.